What up, peeps? Just your boy Glass with Get With It Sports, a place where you get your sports knowledge with a little swag. I'm about to step into some NBA stuff right about now, so check it out. You know, just got through watching my Bulls, my hometown Bulls, my favorite team in the NBA. Uh, play Sacramento Kings. They won that game 93. Uh, let me make sure 93 to 87. I know we don't have a chance to go all the way and make it to the NBA championship. I'll be happy if we make it to the NBA playoffs. I'm cool with that. I understand we're missing Derrick Rose, the heart of the team. I don't even want him coming back this year. Strengthen up that knee, get it to where it's supposed to be, we'll be ready next year. This is what I'm going to say. I, <laughs> and y'all think I'm hating because I do hate the Lakers. I'm a Laker hater, yes. I hate the faces. But I'm just going to put it, I'm going to bring it to you real. I said from now on, bring real talk to you. I'm bringing it to you real. I'd rather have the Chicago Bulls where they at with my with the head coach Thibodeau. I'll take him, and I think they're gonna have a better record than what they got in in, the, in L.A. with the Lakers, with Dwight Howard, with Steve Nash. You got all that going together. But you got the wrong head coach. I've been I've been stressing that for I don't know how long. Ever since he got hired. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Ever since Mike Brown got hired, y'all was scratching your heads like I was scratching your scratching my head. Like, that's the one you want to pick. I still, and I'm gonna say it till I'm blue in the face, I don't think Mike Brown is a solid head coach. I'm just gonna put it like that. He did what he did in Cleveland because he had LeBron James. As soon as LeBron James left, listen, in Cleveland, when he played, when he was coaching the Cavaliers, he won coach of the year. As soon as LeBron left, that following year, he got fired. Who does that? How you win coach of the year and the following year you get fired when, when the man card just disappeared? That's what's gonna happen in, in LA. I think, good pickup, don't get me wrong. Dwight Howard was a good pickup. Steve Nash, he can play defense, but he's a, he's a distributor. That's gonna be another point I'm gonna stress out. You got all these things, and I guarantee you, everybody got them going to the playoffs, winning the playoffs. They might make it to the playoffs, don't get me wrong. They're gonna make it to the playoffs just because off of Kobe's will. He's an assassin. Just off of Kobe's will, they'll make it to the playoffs but they're not gonna make it far because of the head coach. You had a chance to get uh, uh, Brian Shaw. Still on, I think, it's, I think it was a pissing contest with uh, not Dr. Jerry Bush, his son. I can't remember his son's name right now. I think it was a pissing contest with Kobe. The reason why Brian Shaw is not the head coach then. With that being said, Mike Brown is the coach now. Let's, let's just put it out there. Because Mike Brown is the coach, you will not Play with your full potential for what you got there. That's what. That's, listen, just off the first game, they lost against Dallas. I know it's only one game, but did you see Steve Nash do what he's supposed to be doing? You got Steve Nash there, the best assist leader out there in the NBA, and he wasn't doing his job. How is that? How you gonna have the man who perfected the assist not doing his thing? I know y'all, I know I'm going to hear I'm just going to keep it real. I'm letting you know. I'd rather have Coach Thibodeau do his thing with what we got here in Chicago. And we probably would have a better record than the L.A. Lakers. I don't even think Mike Brown, if Mike Brown will make it through this season, I don't think he'll be the head coach next year. And if he is the head coach next year, you're going to go through the same thing. I think Kobe Bryant is going to be tired of listening to Mike Brown. That's just my two cents. Uh, tell me what you think. Yes, I said, I think the Chicago Bulls, if not have a better record, gonna have the same 
they're going to be tied record wise with the LA Lakers just because our coach is 100% better than your coach. I think in about a week I'm going to give you my preseason picks for the NBA playoffs. I also made a, a couple of years ago, I made a little list of my top 10 players in each position. So I got my top of all time. Got my top 10 in the small, I uh, mean, uh, point guard, shooting guard, power forward, small forward, center. I got my top 10 of all time. I uh, had it in my uh, Palm Pilot for a long time. I showed a couple of people. They told me it's a pretty good list. So I'm trying to figure out if I should put it on Get With The Sports blog page. So if y'all want to see it, if I get enough people saying they want to see it, I'm going to go ahead and put it on there. So I'm going to give y'all a week. Might have to update it because, of course, LeBron, you know, he doing this thing. I had to put him on that list. And Kobe was already on it. I'm, I'm telling y'all too much. So let me know if y'all want to check it out. I'll put it on the blog page. I'm going to give y'all a week to let me know if y'all want to see it. So that's what I got for you. I'm going to give you a little bit more NBA stuff later on. Still do NFL. And uh hope y'all enjoy it. So this is your boy Glass. We'll get with the sports. Please we get your sports with a little swag. Telling y'all, good night and as always, be good, be safe, get with it. Peace.